Well, let's let's ask because w- there's one sport uh, where there's no crossover, or one place where there's no crossover right now, and that is New York. Uh, we have boxing in New York, and it, and it's it's senseless. And we've gone over this a million times that you know how can you have hockey where you're getting all these concussions and you know Sidney Crosby's career may be over uh, at 23 years old because of concussions and and yet they won't sanction uh and they won't sanction MMA. I know it's ridiculous. I don't want to go into having you defend MMA and why it should be sanctioned, but what I want to have you do Lorenzo is if you can explain to us the role of the culinary union there and are they opposing you uh because of something to go with station casinos. Yeah, I mean the the fact of the matter is the fact that we're not uh, legal in New York has nothing to do with MMA, so we'd be wasting our time even trying to argue why MMA should be legalized. Because the, you know, we got through the uh, Senate uh, um, committee at a, with a huge landslide vote. We got out of the Senate with a huge landslide vote. Got out of the uh, committee and the Assembly with a huge landslide. Yet the Speaker of the House has never allowed it to go to the floor of the Assembly, which is really just the last vote that we would need to get. Now we've gone around the. Uh, uh, the chambers up in the Capitol Hill, and we have the votes by another landslide vote. What is what this is all about? And unfortunately, in life and in politics, things aren't always what they seem on the surface. It's not about MMA. It's about the fact that the Culinary Union is obviously very strong in New York. They have a strong political base there, and they've been there forever. And they are holding this bill up. And the reason they're holding this bill up is because me and Frank own Station Casinos, which is one of I don't know if it's either us or Venetian or the largest non-union casino company uh, in the country. Now, it seems crazy, I know, and it is crazy. The reality is that we bring a massive economic impact. We go into these cities. In Toronto, we were there for two days. We have $45 million economic impact. And who do we benefit? The people that, were in, that worked in culinary. You know, the people that work in the hotels. We filled the hotels. The people that, that work in the restaurants. We filled the restaurants. So New York would get that same benefit. So the fact that they're opposing us, really, at the end of the day, they're only hurting their own members, which really doesn't make any sense. And in the wake of all this stuff they're doing, they're hurting you know, fighters and families and people that rely on the industry you know, to, to pay their bills. So you know, the fact that they're trying to just basically bother me and Frank, you know, kind of have this campaign to, uh, to uh, uh, you know, be a thorn in our side, you know, they're hurting other people in their wake, which is crazy. Lorenzo, I guess the other thing about about New York that uh, I just don't understand and is why the public has not created more of a ruckus with their their representatives and and what you guys have spent millions of dollars on tens of millions of dollars lobbying in New York. Have you had any kind of campaign that you know to affect the ballot box and to you know to to go after guys you know that that aren't supporting it and, and Sheldon Silver uh, and, and target them and say hey you know what we're gonna we're gonna bring out because we have a young you know, eager fan base, just the same people that got Barack Obama elected right. in 08 and got all jazzed up and, and really started that grassroots campaign. Why couldn't you do a similar thing in MMA as opposed to, you know, the, the traditional sort of lobbying? You know what? I, I think that's definitely possible. You know, we've been working about, I think we've been up there for three different legislative sessions now, three or four. And the fact of the matter is that we, we knew that culinary was working against us, but it was always behind the scenes. So it was kind of hard to come out, you know, but this session, they actually started, they, they were on record. They were sending letters out to all of the members, putting themselves on record, saying, we oppose the legalization of mixed martial arts, and you shouldn't allow, you know, people like uh, that own the UFC to be able to do business in New York for all these crazy variety of reasons. So now we know kind of what we're dealing with, and, you know, I think when whenever I talk to or whenever you get in front of people who are residents of the state of New York and you tell them what's going on, they're just... They're appalled. They're, it's, they're flabbergasted. It's just it's crazy that you know the, the culinary union would have enough uh, political power to not to, to basically keep the democratic process from playing out. You know, fine if we don't have the votes, then we then then it's not legal in New York. But at least let the democratic process play out. Let the vote go to the floor and see what happens.